negative numbers. When we count forwards, the numbers get bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. We can also count backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we get to zero. And when we get past zero, we get negative numbers. And a negative number means it is less than zero. And a negative number will always be shown with the negative sign before it. So minus one or negative one would look like this. Let's have a look at a number line. We can see here that as we go past zero, we get negative numbers. We have minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on. A really easy way to think about negative numbers is to think about temperature on a thermometer. This is just a number line, but in a vertical position, as you can see here. The tricky thing to remember with negative numbers is that as the numbers get smaller in value, the actual negative numbers look like they're increasing. So if we look here, we can see that we've got minus two, and then let's look at minus eight. Now, minus eight here is actually much colder than minus two, even though it appears to be a bigger number. So remember, it kind of works in the opposite way than positive numbers do. Let's have a look at these numbers and see if we can work out which one is bigger. So we've got minus eight or minus 10. Let's look at our thermometer. So I've got minus eight here and minus 10 here. Now I can see that minus 10 is further away from zero. So that's going to be colder on my thermometer. Don't fall into the trap of thinking because 10 is a bigger number, then that's going to be the bigger. The actual bigger number here is minus eight because it's not as far away from zero. So always think to yourself, a little tip is to think, well, if it was temperature, what would be warmer or what would be colder on the thermometer? OK, let's look at another one. Which is bigger, minus four or three? Well, straight away here, I can see that this has got a minus in front of it. So I know that's going to be a small, very small number or it's very cold on my thermometer. So I know for certain that three must be bigger. What about minus 12 or minus 22? Which is the bigger number? So think about your thermometer, which would be colder? You know, that's going to be the smaller number. So I know that minus 12 is going to be the bigger number. That's not going to be as cold as minus 22. I'm going to go back to my horizontal number line now. And now I'm going to think about what's the difference between numbers on my number line. So let's have a look first of all. And I want to know what's the difference between zero and minus five. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find zero. There it is. And I'm going to find minus five. And I want to know the difference between them. So that's just as simple as counting along my number line. So one, two, three four, five. Minus five is five away from zero. What about minus two and two? What's the difference between those numbers? Well, let's find two on the number line and minus two. Now, I know that from zero to two, that's going to be two, and zero to minus two, that's going to be two. So altogether, it's four spaces. Let's check. One, two, three, four. So the difference between minus two and two is four. Now it's your turn to pause the video and try these questions. So find the difference between these negative and positive numbers. Pause the video and then we'll come back and see how you did. Let's look at the answers. So the difference between minus five and three is eight. The difference between minus six and four is ten because Remember that minus 6 to 0 is 6, and then from 0 to 4 is 4. So 6 plus 4 is 10. And the difference between minus 10 and 10 is 20. If you answered any of those incorrectly, just remember that next time you can draw yourself a little number line just to help yourself check your counting. Here's some more questions on negative numbers for you to try. So pause the video, and then we'll check back and see how you did. OK, let's go through the answers. 
So which is bigger? Well, in question number one, I know that minus 10 is bigger because that's closer to zero. Minus 22 or two, minus two, well, I know that minus two is bigger. And minus 15 or 14. Now, don't forget to look carefully and see that there's a minus sign here. So I know that 14 is going to be bigger. Let's move on to the missing numbers. So question four says minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. So I know that minus seven is going to come next. And then question five, three, two, one, zero. And then I know that minus one is going to come next. And then question six, minus 22, minus 21, minus 20. And next is going to be minus 19. And then the final question. Now, you can see here this is slightly different. Minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8. So it's actually the 2 times table. So I can see that after minus 8 would be minus 10. How did you get on? If you made any mistakes, have a look back at the video and try again. And remember, use a number line or jot down a number line to help you.